Hey everyone, my name's Damon and I'm going to be doing a quick little step-by-step -step on how I do my pink iridescent French. So for the look today, I'm going to be using a detail paint from Hona. It is in the shade Onesie and it has a really gorgeous pink iridescent colour. For this design, I'm going to be using my 18mm striper brush, but you can obviously use whatever brush you're most comfortable with. Now you want to make sure you are loading your brush up with enough product for the design. So I usually put the brush in, swirl it around in the gel and then just take off the excess on the side of the pot. You want to make sure all the bristles are nice and evenly coated. You don't want any thick gel towards the end because then when you go to do your design, you won't get a nice perfect straight line. When I do my French, I like to make sure that my hands are very steady. So that is using my pinky against my client's finger as an anchor, which still gives me full range of movement to do in the French, but it just means I have a really steady hand. Once I've decided where I want to start my French, so I always start on the left hand side anyway, um, I put the brush nice and firmly onto the nail and then you just got to go for it because if you start moving around too much, you're not going to have a nice crisp line. So I usually place the brush down and just literally just go for it. If I'm happy with the line I've just done, then I will do the one on the bottom. So I will start in the corner that I started the first line at and then just go along the free edge. If you are happy with what you've just done, then you can load up your brush again and then get ready to do the right hand side. I know everyone's got their own way of how they like to do their own French, but how I do mine is I line up from where I left off and I will swoop up towards the right hand corner. Obviously checking to make sure that I'm even, but it doesn't matter too much at this point because we can go back in and correct if we need to. Once I've done that, I will get a little bit of product on my brush and I will connect the top corner down to the bottom line. If you are going for that outline French, negative French, that's really popular at the moment, um, then this is how you would do it. We're going to go ahead and fill it in today though. A good tip when filling a French in is always make sure you're pulling the product from the outside into the middle. Reason being, if you're pulling product up to the sides, it will just make the side walls look really bulky and you're shaping off. I'm just using the leftover product on my brush. I'm not dipping back into my gel. Um, I don't want to add too much to the nail. I don't want it to look too bulky on the ends. So I'm just manipulating the product that's already on the free edge. The last thing you want to do before curing is just making sure there's no excess product on the side walls. Checking the nail from all angles, making sure that I don't look too bulky on the edge and that I haven't added too much product on the end. At this point, before you cure, you just want to make sure you don't want to do any last touches. If there's any bits harder than the other, I mend it now. But I'm pretty happy with mine, so I'm just going to cure it now and then we'll move on to top coat. Using my Super Shine top coat from Hona, I'm just going to do a nice even layer all over. I spend quite a lot of time doing my top coat just because I do feel like it's the most important step. Um, you can do a lovely design, but if it's full of bubbles and it's not even, then it's just going to ruin the whole thing. Make sure to cap the free edge. I'm just highlighting here, there's like a little bubble in the middle of the nail. So how I combat that is I put my brush to the side with a tiny little bit more product and I just float it up and down. And doing that, it will just fill in that little bubble and it will just make it perfectly smooth. Once you've cured, you are done. Thank you so much for watching the video today. It was just a quick little video on how I do my iridescent pink French. It's really good for clients who want to try something different than a white standard French, but don't want to commit to anything too crazy. Um, any questions, just message me on my socials and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.